My friends, I made real good progress on that Laravee mandolin. We'll show you all that in just a moment. We'll talk about a few other things as well, and we'll do that right after this. friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa Stringworks Workshop. Today is Wednesday, December 7th, a day that will live in infamy. As President Roosevelt said back in 1941, it was the raid on Pearl Harbor. I take my hat off to all those wonderful veterans that fought in that war and were there on the day of the bombings. In fact, I knew one of them very well. His name was Walt Henry. Walt was on the Oklahoma and was rescued out of the ocean after the Oklahoma was struck by bombs. He was swimming in blazing oil-filled water and it's a miracle he survived. He lived to be in his 90s and he was still splitting his own firewood out there at, in his 90s. Very healthy, fit man and uh, I enjoyed his company greatly. In fact, it was his son's Martin D28 guitar that I used as my pattern for all the guitars that I built uh, after having that guitar in my shop many years ago. Anyway, fond remembrance of Walt Henry, hero of the Oklahoma at Pearl Harbor. I mentioned I made good progress on this Laravee. It still has a problem, it ain't got no strings. <laughs> <laughs> Remember I said that the first day I pulled it out of the case. It didn't have a neck either or a peg head, but it's uh, looking good now. It's really looking good. The fingerboard has been glued back on and uh, it's really ready for the final stages now. We still got to fix doctor up this busted out area across here and we and I like I said, I think I have all the parts to make that look real fine. Um, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do, because this wasn't a real veneer, I, I, at least I don't think it was, it sure doesn't look like a veneer, I think it was epoxy or something like that, this black, and so what I think I'm going to do is just to shortcut that process, I'll tape it all off on the edges and then spray paint this whole area just black and then coat it with a clear coat and make it look real nice, and then the rest of this I'll stain and varnish and, uh, you know, make it look real good. But uh, it's, it's up in really, really good shape. You know what, the one thing I haven't done yet, it, it measured 27 and a quarter inches from the tip of here down to here before I did all this. And I promise you, I haven't measured it yet. So I don't know what it's gonna measure. I hope it comes out to 27 and a quarter. Let's just see. Oh, uh, I missed it. It's 27 and 5 sixteenths. It's a sixteenth of an inch longer than it used to be. <laughs> well, that's not too bad. And actually, I think the 27 and a quarter was a hair longer than a quarter, so it's really like a 30 second longer. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's, it's fine. It's really going to be fine. Uh, you cannot feel that in the neck at all. I mean, you know, if you're doing a blind test here, you cannot tell where uh, where that repair is. There's, you just can't feel it, it's just not there. You can see it, of course, but after we stain it, you'll still be able to see it, I think, but it'll look much different. Someone had taken a lot of the finish off this neck. I'm gonna go ahead and, and do that up right, I think, and take the rest of the finish off and then refinish the whole thing to match. I think that'll look better than trying to patch in the finish to this old finish because that old finish is, first of all, it's really hard to match and uh, second of all, they didn't really do the best job of taking the finish off. They didn't get it real symmetrical and clean and everything. So I'll uh, just take all that off and we'll go from there. So that's the status of this. I'm really hoping that I'll be able to play it for you on Friday morning in the shop talk. So uh, I can't guarantee that yet, but uh, if things go well, I'll be playing this Friday morning on shop talk. Well, I got a lot of good suggestions on uh, videos to play during our live uh, Christmas show. Uh, in, in, you know, I need a halftime video, if you will, maybe 10 or 15 minutes maximum. 
And quite honestly, I haven't settled on an idea yet, but you gave me lots of ideas and I appreciate it. I'm not yet sure what's gonna happen there. I do know that we're gonna have a visit from uh, one of my long lost cousins. He's my uh, first cousin, Jerome, twice removed. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say about that. Uh, you, you'll get to meet him, he's quite a character. <laughs> Anyway, people have more fun than anybody, you know, that's that's the truth, that really is. I might just mention that we did have a pretty good jam at Dickie's Barbecue Pit in Rolla, Missouri last night. Unfortunately, we had no crowd. There was just a handful of people there uh, last night, and that's kind of sad, but, you know, I'm sure people are out busy Christmas shopping, and I think there was a local uh, high school basketball game, uh, the boys you know game and so I think that pulls a lot of people away too so anyway we did what we did and we had fun and uh, we enjoyed it and uh, we are you know anxiously preparing for our live Christmas show on Thursday evening December 15th so be sure to mark your calendar that'll be seven o'clock my time we'll see you tomorrow thanks for watching <laughs>